In my experience, problems arising from joint task forces like this generally center around questions of jurisdiction. I want to know where the money for this is supposed to come from. It's a fair question. It's a stupid question. You know we need to do the investigation. You worry about where the money comes from. Bitch. Come on, Terry. Really? Name calling? Hey, it's not going to help in this investigation. Look, I don't care about your small town politics, okay? Mel and I came to do a job, and by God, we're going to do it. It suits me fine. You guys sit here and argue about meaningless bullshit. Grady and I will solve this, and we'll be home in time for cornflakes. We better see significant improvement in interdepartment relations immediately, or all of you are going to feel the working end of my boot. You got that? And I mean all of you, out of towners included. No favorites here. One thing whichever one of you thinks you're in charge here, DA Cooper wants full reports daily. For some reason, he's a little concerned that unless this proves nothing more than a fluke accident, the town of Proper may have a seriously deranged killer on its hands. Kind of concerns me too. So I want results. to make you feel better, right? Thank you, Jane. You're being very kind to me. Kind? It's nothing. I love you, Russell. I would do anything for you. Of course, um... Can I ask you a question? Sure. Anything. How did you end up here? Where have you been? I don't know. I'm looking for you, I guess. I think, I mean... After you went away, you died. I... died? Yes! You died! What the hell are you doing here now? You don't have to explain that. I know you didn't really die all the way. Everyone told me that you did, but I... I always saw you, even then. You were still around town here and there. Where did you go? I mean, after I died. Or kind of died. Well, Mom and Papa left town. They couldn't handle it. They said you were dead, so there was nothing left in proper. But I stayed. You were still here. Why didn't you leave? They didn't, they didn't care. You're all that mattered to them, not me. Oh, Jane, they didn't mean it. Yeah, they did. You could always do anything. They couldn't. Do you hate me because of that? No. Hate you, never. You're all I've ever wanted, ever. Just to be Russell's little sister. It's all, all that ever mattered to me. I love you. Hey, Margo, I'm gonna go for a walk, so me. No, Rory, can you stay, please? Just for a moment. So I want to talk to you. You know how much I loved Corey, and how his death has really affected me. 
so I can only imagine how hard this really is on you. Sweet boy. I'm okay. Really? No. I'll never. Never. Okay, the death of someone you probably should never get over. At least not completely. Yes. And no matter how hard and heartless that this sounds, you know, life goes on. We're still alive, you and I. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like... Oh, I know it hurts. Probably more than words can even describe. I know it hurts. But you gotta move forward. It's the best thing we can do for Corey's memory. I don't understand. Rory, you loved Corey. Uh, still do. Yeah. And did Corey love you? I think so. Oh, I know so. Of course he loved you. He protected you. You were his little brother. Thought you were a pain in the ass sometimes, but... <laughs> yeah, I did when I said that. Yeah, and see, even then, oh, he loved you. And life goes on, and it's going to keep going on. And we got to figure out what you're going to do. And as soon as we take care of a few things, like the memorial service, and we'll bury Corey, and those things will get taken care of. Oh my God, that's so... Uh, I'm so sorry. I know this kind of seems insensitive. And it, okay, I'm sorry. But you got to think about your future after all of this. I know you were planning and staying in proper a lot longer. And now with all your memories here, you probably want to get going back. No. I don't ever want to go back there. You mean you don't you don't want to? No. It's not like I was home there anyways. Mom never let me stay there. I was always at a boarding school. I hate it there. After everything that's happened here, you still want to stay in proper. Yes. Can, can I live with you? Rory. You really want to do this? Really? Yes, please, Aunt Margo. Can I stay here with you? Well, yes, you're welcome anytime. I'm not really set up for kids, but I'll give it a shot. We can think about it. Thanks, Aunt Margo. So much. How's mother today? Could be better. She's becoming a bit resourceful. Uh, she almost got a hold of that attorney of hers, uh, Finkelman. Morris Finkelman, yes. What do you mean almost? Well, almost. I was able to stop her today, but who knows? Whatever you're doing, you better get it done soon. Don't stay lucky forever. Yes, I see. Well, I better up the stage. Hello, Mother. I know you're awake, Mother, so please. I also know what you're trying to do. I think you know everything, do you? I don't care if I know everything. I only care about one thing right now. And you know me well enough that I will do whatever it takes to get what I want. You always were a spoiled child. If you didn't get what you want, you had a tantrum until you did. A spoiled brat, I believe. I personally don't care what they call it as long as you're doing it while you're signing your will over to me. And you will sign the will. 